lot of us don't know how and where to find the recent works of our prospective grad supervisors so in today's video i'm going to be showing us i'm going to be teaching us how and where to find the recent works of your prospective grad supervisors and you hit search and when you hit search it shows you the profile of the person hi guys so a lot of us are emailing prospective grad supervisors and we have been told that um, we need to research the recent works of our prospective supervisors and relate their current or recent works to our, our research interest. But, but a lot of us don't know how and where to find the recent works of our prospective grad supervisors. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing us, I'm going to be teaching us how and where to find the recent works of your prospective grad supervisors. So if you are looking to find the published work of your potential supervisor, this is how you do it. The first thing you do is to go to your browser and inside of your browser, you enter googlescholar.com so i like to enter it scholar.google.ca because i'm in canada or you can enter .com and it takes you to google scholar in the search bar here you enter the name of the person you are looking for so in this case it's your potential supervisor so for the purpose of this um video i'm going to be entering my own name here so you enter the person's name so here i'm entering my name And you hit search and when you hit search it shows you the profile of the person so you click on the person's name here so here i'm going to click my name user profile for ewo mazino jobo so i'm going to click my name here so when i click on my name it gives you it shows you all of my articles if you are using a computer in this place here i'm using my mobile device but if you're using a computer here you are able to see um the top part called year and on that part where you see here, if you just click on here, it arranges it. It arrange it would arrange the the publications for you from the most recent to the oldest, or from the oldest to the most recent. And since we are looking for recent published work, this would um, be good for you to do because here you can just click on the year so that it brings it. So you are not going through all of the published works to check for. Um, to check for the most recent or the oldest it arranges it for you itself so i would advise that you use a computer to do it so here you check this you see the list of the articles and um here on my right cited by so this is the number of times that people have cited the article so you are since you are looking for recent works you're looking for the work in recent years perhaps in the last two years in the last three years because research is very dynamic it keeps moving you don't want to go and look at what somebody had done in year 2000 and you think you go and write about it that you're interested in that the person is no longer doing that that is why you wouldn't get a response so you search for the most recent work and you can do that by using googlescholar.com so another website you can check is researchgate.net this is very also very similar to um, Google Scholar as well. And um, so for this researchgate.net, um, here, I'm not logged in here. So that's why you can't see anything. It's the same thing when you get into ResearchGate, researchgate.net. When you get into ResearchGate, you just enter, you see the search bar, enter the person's name and the list of the person's publications is going to come out. So going back to Google Scholar, um, I'd like to remind us that when you are looking for um, a your potential supervisor's published work, look at um, potential your sup these supervisors, professors. They are usually principal investigators. It means that they run a lab, they own a lab. So look for um, articles where this professor is the last author. So it means that on the names of the author for the paper, the person you are looking for, his name is is he. His name is the last name on the list of authors that tells you that that work was done from his lab and it was um done from it's something that he supervised 
so there you have it guys i hope that you've learned a thing or two from the video so now that you know how to find your prospective supervisors recent works the next thing to do is to align your research interests some of us have research interest but we don't know how to align our research interests with that of a prospective supervisor and that's fine too we all learn somewhere we all start from somewhere so if you want to learn how to do this please do send me a dm on facebook or instagram at zino ojogo that is z-i-n-o o-j-o-g-b-o or you can leave a comment under this post on youtube as well at zino ojogo o-j-o-g-b-o and i'll be happy to help you and to provide guidance to you that being said if you found this video useful if you have enjoyed watching this video if you think that this content was good enough please do like share save tag your friends so that other people can benefit as well from this video and until next time my name is zino ojobo and i teach you how to fund your studies abroad using scholarships thank you